Welcome to this series of our idiomatic expression. Remember we said idiomatic expressions are expressions with underlying meanings. In other words, you don't explain them by the facial wording, by the wording from the facial, from the facial point of view. No, they have deeper meaning. So when you do that, you have to read the underlying meaning. The inner meaning of the word. Don't read that. Don't explain that based on the surface meaning of the words you see. So that's idiomatic expression. Idiom. Many deep meanings. Number one, we continue. We have had first series, second series, third series, fourth series, fifth series, sixth series, seventh series. If you miss all those series, please get back to that and try to key in. Try to key in. Now we are on the eighth, eighth series of our idiomatic expressions. Number one, to show that to show that blood is thicker than water. To show that blood is thicker than water. What this man has done, what GK has done, has shown me that blood is thicker than water. To show that blood is thicker than water means to show that the tie of kindred is very strong. The tie of kindred, or the tie of family, or the tie of same parents is very strong. So when something happens where you see a bro a somebody favoring his brother or somebody joining his brother to do a particular thing or joining his blood nation to do a particular thing, you know that it's because they are bloodly related. So Whatever they do, you say, oh, don't mind, don't, don't, don't ever mind, because blood is thicker than water, to show that tie of kindred is very strong. Number two, to be birds of a feather, or to be birds of the same feather. When you say, oh, Chike and Lame are birds of the same feather, you mean to be persons of the same sort. They are alike, they behave the same way, okay? They behave the same way. They, their attitudes are the same. So you say they are birds of a feather. That is, persons of the same sort. Number three, to fight with one's back to the wall. To fight with one's back to the wall. That's to make a final desperate effort. To make a final desperate effort. That means you believe that it's all over, that that's the final effort, the final try. The final trial that you have to make after that, that's the end. So you have to put the last effort to do that. That means you are, you are fighting with what with your back to the wall. You are making the final desperate effort. Making the final desperate effort. You know that if you miss it, you are missing. So you fight with your back to the wall. That means you make the final desperate effort. Number four, to paddle one's own canoe. If I say, please, don't interfere in my business. Don't interfere in what I'm doing. You have to paddle your own canoe. Please paddle your own canoe. I mean to manage your own affairs. To paddle one's own canoe means to paddle, to manage your own affairs. Don't interfere in my, in my affair. Paddle your own affair. Paddle your own canoe. That is manage your own affairs. Number four, to pay one's back in his own coin. Say, don't worry, what this man has done to me, I will pay him in his own coin. I will pay her in her own coin. To pay one's back in his own coin. If you want to pay me back in my own coin, that means to treat one in the same way one has treated others. If, you, if I want to pay you in your own coin, that means I want to treat you the same way you treated me or you treat me. That is paying one back in his own coin, treating one in the same way one has treated you. Number six, to play second fiddle. Oh, I'm not going to play second fiddle in this organization. To take a subordinate position. That means you are not on top. You are the second person. You are the assistant. You are the deputy. So if you say, I don't want to play second fiddle in this particular organization or in this particular society or in this particular association. That means you don't want to take a subordinate 
position. You want to be the head. You don't want to be the second. You don't want to be the third. Number seven, to be at sixes and sevens. To be at sixes and sevens. That means to be in disorder. Oh, the town is at sixes and sevens. Oh, the, the whole area is at sixes and sevens. That means it's in disorder, it's in disarray, confusion, it's in confusion. To be at sixes and sevens, to be in confusion, to be in disorder. Number eight, to slip through one's fingers. To slip through one's finger, that means to miss it completely, to miss it entirely. Oh, I would have gotten that, but it slipped through my fingers. That is, I missed it entirely. I missed it entirely. I did not get that. Number nine, to have a skeleton in, in the cupboard. To have a, oh, what this man is doing shows that he has a skeleton in his cupboard. What that Junkun is doing, what that man Junkun is doing shows that he has a skeleton in the cupboard, in his cupboard. To have a skeleton in the cupboard means to have a secret source of embarrassment, of domestic embarrassment. You have something that you are hiding, which if it's known, is going to cause huge embarrassment to you. You are hiding it. So I will say, oh, don't mind. He has a skeleton in the cupboard. That means he has a secret source of embarrassment, domestic embarrassment. Number 10. To build castles in the air. To build castles in the air. That means to have extravagant and more realistic ideas. When you say, oh, I am going to, you know you are not sleeping in even a one-bedroom apartment. You don't, you, are, you don't have one-bedroom apartment you are sleeping. And you are saying, oh, by next year, I'm going to have five aeroplanes flying for me. You are building castles in the air to have extravagant and unrealistic ideas. Number 11, to be a chief of the old block. To be a chief of the old block, that means to be an image of the father. If, you, if somebody does something and I look at the person and I know the father and I know the man, I say, oh, I know this particular, he is the chief of the old block. That means he is the image of the father. He is the image of the what he's doing is just exactly the, char the characteristics or the character of the father. They are the same. They behave the same way. Himself and the father of herself and the mother. I would say he is or she is a chief of the old block. Image of the father or image of the mother. Please, if you like our video, sub subscribe, share, and give us a thumbs up. Share, please, and give us a thumbs up.